Welcome back, Wolfpack. We're listening to this is how to use Lilligant. Now, Lilligant is an interesting Pokemon because it has good offensive stats, but nothing extraordinary. However, 110 special attack is going to be pretty solid. Now, I do talk about 90 base speed quite a lot. It's this weird fringe borderline speed tier where, you know, we're not in that 100 to 110, but we're also not in the hyper sweeper level of like 115 plus. But 90, you'll be able to outspeed tankier Pokemon. And if you go like timid or jolly nature, depending on whatever Pokemon you're using, then that means you're going to be able to outspeed the 100 speed Pokemon that are running an offensive nature, so you do get in some interesting positions. 70 on the hit points, 75 on both defenses. We see this very commonly. It's like the legit middle of tankiness kind of defensive things that we see means that you are pretty susceptible to getting one shot by some very powerful hits but you aren't absolutely glass when it breaks it down still a very risky pokemon like you know you do have to worry about getting one hit and super effective hits are going to obliterate you speaking of super effective hits we're pure grass typing that means we have a lot of them so flying poison bug fire and ice are going to give you a very difficult time in battle and we do have to pay a lot of attention to ice being really common poison getting more common because of fairy typings fire still pretty common bug and flying you'll see them from time to time so that's kind of what we're worrying about as for the resistances we're not too much of a tanky pokemon so we're not going to focus on them too much now the cool thing about Lilligan is that it is a quiver dance pokemon so we hop into pokemon showdown I'm going to show all the other Quiver Dancers, minus Volcarona and Dustox, but the idea here is that when we look at the stats, you know, 90 Special Attack, 90, 100, 80, 90, and 94, so pretty low on the Special Attack. Lilligant has all these Pokemon beat in Special Attack and Speed combined. That Venomoth is tied with the fastest speed at 90, so it's really good. Now let's look at Quiver Dance. Quiver Dance is a really OP move, where it's a Special Attack, Special Defense, and Speed by one. That's just really absurd, so not a lot of Pokemon get this because it is very, very powerful and it is a very high responsibility move. So when we go and look at Lilligant, it's going to revolve around that Quiver Dance. First idea is Focus Sash. This pretty much means that if you see super effective hits, if you see very powerful hits, you're going to be able to just survive it and then you set up Quiver Dance and then you hopefully turn it around into a sweep. Now one big, big problem about Lilligant is that it has no coverage whatsoever. You have Energy Ball, you have Hidden Power, and that's all that you're going to be able to do offensively. That's that's kind of sad to think about. But overall, I was thinking that since we already have a 90 base speed, we just go Modest Nature, so we max out our Special Attack, max out the speed, we're going to be very fast after we get a Quiver Dance, we're going to have a very high amount of Special Attack as well, and then we just hope for the best. Energy Ball, fortunately, has 90 base power right now, so after that buff in 6th generation, got a little more strength, going to get stabbed, going to be pretty solid, and then Hidden Power. Now, hidden power you're going to want is either going to be fire or ice. Fire is for fire things, ice is for ice things, you know, it's like Ferrothorn or Scizor compared to Garchomp, Dragonite, Salamence, Pokemon like that. So, whatever one you feel you need to take care of more is going to be the one. And then we have Sleep Powder. Now, depending on the situation, we go Quiver Dance into Focus Sash proccing, and then we outspeed them for the Sleep Powder. Or if we're slower than them, then we Sleep Powder and then we double Quiver Dance to make sure we're faster than them. Then we go into our Energy Ball. Now, if you do get two Quiver Dances under that Sleep Powder, you're good to go. That means you're pretty much set because Quiver Dance, if you double your special attack and your speed, nothing is going to touch you. So that's kind of where it's at. Now abilities. Abilities are interesting. Chlorophyll only works with Sunny Day and Own Tempo only works if your opponent's trying to hack gimmick you. So in this situation, since we're not going to be reliant on that speed boost, Own Tempo is probably going to be our best bet. And if we are really getting reliant on those Quiver Dances, Against a special attacking Pokemon, or if we're in some kind of situation where we're not expecting to get one shot, we might want to have Giga Drain, but Giga Drain is going to be for Life Orb Lilligan, which gets a little more interesting, so we kind of give up the Sleep Powder and then we turn that into Petal Dance, definitely running the own tempo on this, Pokemon cannot be confused, Petal Dance, it's pretty much like Outrage for Grass-type special attackers, so now we're dealing with 120 base power. Pedal Dance can also work on the Focus Sash set, so if you don't want Energy Ball, you can run the Pedal Dance. It's just going to lock you down, but that's kind of what we're dealing with. So you run the Pedal Dance, and the idea is, you know, you plus one, you get huge damage, and then you win. Life Orb is also an option. With Life Orb, it means against special attackers that you set up a Quiver Dance. If they don't directly one-shot you with a super effective hit, then you can Giga Drain some health back, and then you can kind of go whatever while just carrying more damage. So Life Orb, going to be riskier, but more damage overall is never a bad thing that plus one Quiver Dance, Life Orb, Pedal Dance, you can actually tear through teams pretty hard. So if you get two turns off with this and you're outspeeding your opponent all the time, you pretty much win. If they don't have priority, you pretty much win. So there is a lot of very high power coming from this Lilligant that you do need to respect with that Pedal Dance, and it does lock you into the Odin Tempo, and it does lock you into Pedal Dance, but as long as you don't get like super heavily resisted, you'll be fine, and then that's what we're dealing with. 
Other things Lilligant gets is Healing Wish. So if you don't want to run Sleep Powder or if you want if you don't want Hidden Power or you put some kind of other move here, Healing Wish will work out pretty well. It just makes it to where you faint and then your replacement Pokemon is fully healed. So Lilligant actually excels pretty well in the mid to late game. That if your opponent doesn't have like outrageous attack or if you get a really good switch in opportunity against like Ground Type or some kind of Scarf for choice Pokemon that can't two shot you maybe because you're resisting them. You can get that kind of opportunity in, then that means you can go for that setup. Might be able to knock out one Pokemon, might be able to knock out a second, or at least weaken them. Then you go for the Healing Wish. If you have a Pokemon that's paralyzed, like a Burn Mega something, and you just really need it to come back into the game, Healing Wish will be good. So, if you knock out a Pokemon, and then Healing Wish, and restore another Pokemon, that's going to be enough to kind of save the battle for you. So that can be an Ace Up its Sleeve for Lilligant, and then we just kind of have other options. In double battles, Lilligant can do some cool things. So a Pokemon with Drought, or some Pokemon setting up Sunny Day and getting set up like that, then that means we have Growth. Now Growth does something really cool in Sunlight. That normally it raises attack and special attack by 1, but in Sunlight it raises it by 2. Also with Chlorophyll, it's doubling the Pokemon's speed, so that means we don't really have to worry about doing Quiver Dance or anything. We Growth, we're doubling special attack, we're doubling our speed in the sun, we're already good to go from there, and then that's where we can have Giga Drain, and maybe Energy Ball, I don't know, it depends on what you want. If you want to go for the Sustain, that's an option, but if not, then you just have Energy Ball for the damage. As for um, Petal Blizzard, as for Petal Dance, it randomly chooses a target, which could be good or bad, but I mean, if you want to use Petal Dance, you can, just the high damage is absurd. Energy Ball, though, getting the plus two with Stab and stuff, that could be pretty nice. That really, you just need to try to secure that growth as much as possible. A Pokemon with Fake Out, but then you, it's going to be really hard to set up Sun with a Fake Out Pokemon, because there aren't any Fake Out Drought Pokemon. So that might be a problem. Protect is just nice to have in doubles in general. If we're running Energy Ball or Petal Dance, that means the other one is going to be that Hidden Power option that you want. Most likely Hidden Power Ice, you do see quite a lot of Salamence inside of something to consider. And then the Focus Sash. I mean, Focus Sash could get, be your best bet for as long as you don't see a double hit move on that first turn. Set up Growth, Focus Sash activates, and then you just try to stay safe and win. But it is going to be riskier, however the payoff is huge if you get that little against sweep going. So, on that, you know, you just have Focus Sash set up, you have a little bit riskier, more damage, you have Healing Wish options, and that is going to be Lilligan. Now, I do not undersell this Pokemon anyway. Quiver Dance is a busted move, and if you get one or two Quiver Dances off, your chances of winning the battle become very, very high, so it's something to pay attention to. If you see one respected setup, if you don't have a Talonflame or some kind of, like, speed priority to deal with it, you might be in for some trouble. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, that's how you use Lilligan. I hope you all have a nice day. Thank you for watching.